How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to configure the MX, SPF, and DKIM records for your Cloudflare domain. So if it, without further ado, let's dive right in. So I should mention that this applies for both the domain configuration as well as the website configuration. So in this case, I'm going to do the website as I actually don't have any registered domains under my Cloudflare account. So to do so is quite simple. First things first, we need to log in as an administrator to our Cloudflare account. So once we're here, once we're at the dashboard, you guys would want to navigate to the uh, left-hand panel on your screen, and you want to click on either domains or domain registration or websites. So in this case, we're going to click on websites as this is the one where I actually have um, a website registered to. So um, normally, Cloudflare will uh, pull up a list of all of your registered websites under your account's name. So what you would need to do here is click on the website that you want to configure, like so. And then you want to navigate to the DNS tab right here. So um, under DNS, there are two settings being records and settings. So from here, we want to select records. And right away, you'll see that there's an option that says um, add an MX record for your root domain so that mail can reach um, your domain name or your website addresses or set up a restrictive restrictive, I should say, SPF, DKIM, or DMARC records to prevent email spoofing. So you guys want to click on this link here. And what's going to happen is um, uh, Cloudflare is going to uh, uh, have you do a series of steps to actually have this set up. So all of these have to do with TXT files. So you simply want to configure it as uh, accordingly or add a reporting, a reporting email address. So this could be HR, but this this um this option is as you can see is optional so um you can skip this and simply click on submit and you guys have successfully added those records to your domain or website so yeah that's how you guys do it so hopefully this video helped you guys out and if it did be sure to let us know down in the comment section below and if you guys want to see more videos like these we do have a youtube channel where we do guys like these daily so if you guys want to show your support that you can do so by subscribing to the channel so with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.